Good morning, it's Tuesday the 13th, it's Shrove Tuesday and welcome to CurrencyTransfer.com's daily market update. So today the main question that I bring to you is, is market volatility going to continue or will market conditions be as flat as a pancake? <laughs> Anyway, all Pancake Day related jokes are over. Sorry about that. Uh, let's move on to the headlines. Um, look, Brexit transition fears um, are now beginning to outweigh the, uh, the Bank of England hawkish tone set last week. Um, the inflation data is due out in the UK later today and the dollar rally seems to have trimmed slightly as risk appetite returns to the equity markets. So Sterling is facing up to the both economic and political realities of, uh, of Brexit. Yesterday, Ster Sterling slipped against a single currency and Sterling Euro fell beneath 112.50. Uh, that's a retracement of over 1.6% since last Thursday's high. So Sterling really is on the back foot at the moment. And a lot of this has been driven by uh, Michel Bernier's comment that the transitionary period is not a given. This has given the market plenty to think about because if no transitionary period is, is agreed, then obviously the doom mongers are forecasting, you know, fast forward ahead a year to, to next March when, when we leave the EU and the UK is woefully ill prepared for the turmoil that that could bring. Um, currently, the market is finding it hard to uh, see how the UK will benefit from any higher global growth going forwards um, as it negotiates its exit from the EU. Um, so in part, that has driven the, uh, the current sterling uh, reversal. Um, I've even heard some of the chartists referring to their technical um, analysis, calling cable down um, to test the long term support at 137.20. That is a little way off at the moment, but you know how these chartists are. Anything to cite Gordon Gecko. Let me show you my charts. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um... <laughs> Today sees the release of UK inflation data for January. It's a tricky one to call. Um, forecast is for 2.9% as the reading, um, but as sterling moves away from the recent highs and indeed the, the full effect of the UK rate hike back in November hasn't really been felt, um, it'll be interesting to see how the data is actually presented. Anything softer than that and we could see a slight sterling sell-off and certainly the, um, the calls for uh, an earlier rate hike in May may well soften as well. Um, over in the US, the equity market correction seems to have been just that, a correction. You know, rather than it being uh, driven by any economic uh, downturn. Um, and in fact, the, the opposite seems to be tr true as the economy starts to grow um, uh, back in line with trend. So um, it, it seems that higher interest rates are indeed required um, stateside um, as everything else seems to pick up in line with the recovery. Um, so that leads on to those who seem to have been spooked earlier by the end to cheap money um, and their, their appetite seems to have returned to the market as well. Ultimately, there's a reality check going on there where even with the interest rate rises that are forecast and indeed ongoing in the US, um, the cost of money will still re remain well below historic averages for quite some time to come. So they can really spray it around the markets and may well see the, uh, the Dow Jones recovery coming through as a, re as a result. Uh, the dollar index retreated from last week's high. We'll put the exact data in the comments below. Um, and the euro has held above the medium term support of 122.10. And indeed, as the dollar softens, so euro dollar moves forwards and it reached a high of 123.20 yesterday. Today, it may well be set to resume its rally because we have German inflation data out. That may fan the flames for continued euro dollar um, moves and it, because it also is a leading indicator for the Q4 GDP figure for the eurozone as an entirety. Um, it's due out tomorrow and it's forecast to be slightly higher than the Q3 number showing progress within the trading block. As always, I'm FX Blue bringing you the summary for the day. We'll keep in touch throughout the day with anything relevant. All the best. Bye for now.